Hello and welcome to Tech and More. In this video, we are going to discuss the actions class and see a couple of methods using practical examples. Let's start. As always, the first thing is the manual context. That is, let us understand the significance of actions class with respect to manual or functional testing. Or uh, and you know what? Refrain from using the word manual testing because there is nothing manual about testing. So I always prefer to use the word functional testing. Right. So you know, till now, if you have seen my previous videos, you have seen the numerous methods there are. For example, send keys or dot size or get window handle, find element, click all these. Right. Now uh, there are a couple of actions that you perform regularly as a you know when you when you're interacting on a website uh, functionally. But uh, you might find it a bit challenging when these actions have to be mirrored or duplicated automation wise. What are they? For example, let's suppose I have to drag and drop a drag or drop something. For example, you know, I have this Google logo and I it, it is drag and drop. It has drag and drop functionality. I want to drag it from here and drop it here. You can do it manually, but how can you do it automation wise? Number one. Number two. So for example, if I go and enter the word. Uh, Let's say mm -mm -mm -mm, H Potter, right? Now I've entered it, but let's suppose if I want to double click it and if I want to highlight this particular word, how do I do it? If you have seen the previous videos, you know how to enter data into it. But if let's suppose if I want to go and highlight this particular word, how do I do it? So how, how did I do it manually? I double clicked on H Potter. So, you know, if you, if, if you have some very, very basic knowledge to computers, you know that to highlight this, you just simply double click. So how do you replicate that particular thing in Selenium? You, you know how to do a single click, but how, how about a double click, right? Now, uh, the simple click works, right? So if you click the login thing in Apple, this is something that we've discussed how to do it. But what if I want to do the right click, then what, right? So all these actions, when you're doing them manually, you do not, you know, you, you do not think of uh, these things. But when you're doing it using automation, you have to think or you have to know the methods which can be used to, uh, you know, replicate these and uh, make it a part of your test cases, right? So uh, the way that helps us to use these methods and perform these actions is a part of the actions class actions class and there are numerous methods in it let's see the actions class and the methods now now you have the class i am not going to you know talk about the definition per se uh, explained you the meaning but uh, the, these are some of the mouse and keyboard actions so till now we have discussed the mouse and keyboard actions right so these are some of the mouse and keyboard actions that can be performed using the methods in actions class right for example double click do you just do you just remember we did have this uh, scenario wherein we had to highlight the text so double click was used then we have click and hold so let's suppose if you want to click to a button and keep on holding it without releasing it then you use the click and hold method then drag and drop as i told you if you want to drag one element to the other element then you use drag and drop and same for uh, this thing uh, keyboard as well dot send keys it's a part of actions class but you know uh, usually we do not I mean, usually we, do need, we need not call actions class per se for it, but yes, it's a part of actions class as well. Key up and key down. This is majorly used for, for caps lock. I mean, it's identical to caps lock. If you, let's suppose if you want to enter some data into the uh, email field here, right? Now, if you want to enter it in the caps letter, how do you do it? You use the shift dot up. This is something we are going to see. So this is all about actions class and some of the methods in it. Again, it all depends upon the situation wherein you are, the test case, the test steps, all these things, but have a hold of these methods, understand them, and then you can use them as you wish, right? Now, going to the most important part, which is the code. So I always say that, oh, this was weird. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah. So uh, the code. So now as, as in every video I do show, I do have a example setup wherein we are using the actions class and some methods. I'm going to take you to the ID and show you the code, explain you the code and then start executing it. Right. Let's go to the IDE. Let's have a look at, let me maximize it a bit. I mean, see, since from line number 19, that is Chrome options till uh, line number 25, I'm not going to explain because I have explained this multiple times in previous video. It's just, you know, uh instantiating an object of a driver 
instantiating JavaScript executor object, then uh, declaring implicit weight and the uh, maximizing it. That's it. Nothing else, right? So now uh, the steps are in line number twenty six. It says driver dot get navigate to this website. So I'm going to navigate to mail dot google dot com. That is Gmail. Then in line number twenty eight, I'm declaring a web element and I'm you know finding the address or finding the x path to the email field, which is again uh, this one, right? And you know what is web element, what is uh, driver dot find element? All these things is something I've discussed in, in previous videos. So I'm assuming that you know it. If not, please go and watch those videos and then come in a step by step manner. Then now let's uh, address the elephant in the room, which is actions, right? So in line number thirty one, we have actions ac is equals to new actions driver. So basically, you have instantiated an object for actions, and you have passed the driver, the driver object which was instantiated in the actions parameter, right? So all in all, this this object is here, and the driver which you have instantiated above, which you have used above, you are just passing it. So, so the driver also gets all the you know powers of actions, right? Now let's have a look at the main step, which is from line number thirty-two to line number thirty-seven. Note and mind you, this all can be, I mean, from line number thirty-two to line number thirty-seven, this can all be a part of single line. There is no doubt about it, but for Demonstration purposes for easier code readability purposes, we have moved it in separate lines. Right now, uh, let's have a look at the first element. <clears throat> Sorry, the first method, which says AC dot move to element. Right, so it is as simple as that. That move the cursor to that particular element. You pass the username web element, which is in line number twenty-eight. So we uh, we did find the address to email field, and we stored it in a you know web element uh, variable. And now we are just simply calling it. You know, of course, that is the right way to do to save you the repetition of code. Then you click it. Dot click. This is something that you already know about. Now, in line number thirty-three, which is key down. So basically, key down replicates to the situation wherein you have the button pressed, right? So, I mean, let's suppose you you are you have to type something in capital without using caps lock. So what you do is you Keep, press shift keep on pressing it and then you type what in whatever you want to right so the automation replica of it is that you pass the key down method you pass keys dot shift that is keep on holding the shift button press it and then you call the next method which is dot send keys so all in all while the shift button is pressed while the shift button is pressed pass in the data which is taken mode Right, so taken more will be passed in caps because you have shift pressed. Right now, in line number thirty-five, it says double-click username. So it says that yes, now the text has been input in the caps. Now go and double-click on the text. So after double-click, what it will do? It will go and highlight that particular string. Right now, in the next line, which is line number thirty-six, context click. That is, click on the right aspect of the pointer. So that will open the the menu that which opens when you click on the right uh, tap of the mouse, right? And then it, you have dot build dot perform. So basically, this is a very very critical method which has to be called in every actions declaration you make. So you have to so what it does understand it that all of, all the methods which are given above first build them and then perform them. You need not get into a lot of detail of this dot build dot perform. Just understand that wherever you are using the actions class and whenever you are passing some commands, you have to always declare dot build dot perform at the end, right? So that's it. So now, of course, I have explained you the code, but let me go ahead and let me execute it for your reference. So okay, let me just save it once. Cool. Yeah, now it's executing. Let's have a look at it. It takes you to this. See. it the first was that locate this username field then second was enter data into it which is which should be in bold sorry not bold which should be in caps so how we did it we pressed shift and then we entered the data this is something which you would do manually and the same thing system is doing for you using automation using selenium web driver then it says double click it it did highlight on it and then it opens the context menu it's as simple as that right so i hope that the concept of actions classes clear to you now you uh, you understand the significance of it see the the most important thing is that you have to understand the significance of each and every power or each or each and every class or method in selenium web driver because it all 
the the main intent is that whatever you you're, you're doing manually has to be done using automation right so if you understand the manual context the automation context becomes very easy as we you know we, we did talk about the example first and then we saw the code and then we did the execution so all in all the intent is that you get a just you get a flavor of what's actually happening so it's as simple as that right i hope again that actions class was uh, clear to you the methods are clear to you go ahead uh, of course as i always say try and execute this particular piece of code at your own level i am always i always share the document which contains the code but do think of some other scenarios and try executing them as well for your better understanding right so yeah that's all for this video thank you so much and see you in the next video